love whether you mean like the HEC video. And thanks to a person in my how to use encounter Sunogre comment, I'll be doing another HTC on a Borok. Yep, Borok in my opinion is probably the most fun wall breaker other than Falkyrie. Not just because of its fun factor, but also it's one of the easiest wall breakers to use in the game. And it definitely is a pretty good beginner Lumion or a pretty good competitive Lumion if you are that type of player. So, in this video, you'll be finding tips on what teammates you can run with Borok, what type of teams you can run with Borok, sets of Borok, resistances and weaknesses of Borok, and actually know what Borok can do in front of different Lumions and what it cannot do. So, in this video, I'll be telling you how to use Encounter Borok. So before we actually get into the actual video, we must ask the question, what role does Borok play? Well thankfully its base stats actually help us answer this question. The first thing you should know about Borok is you should never try switching in on a range attacker because 60 range defense is pretty low for an offensive Lumion and any Lumion in general. So you should never use your range defense and your range attack is also pretty low as well with a base range attack stat of 40. So yeah, mixed Borox, range attack Borox are not your best bet. And its energy is below average for an offensive Lumion. This in my opinion is probably the most worst thing about Borok because a Lumion can be frail but it has to be hit hard as well, which Borok does. But since it has a low energy stat, you have to keep in mind of what Borok can do in a battle because Borok's damage window is pretty small, so you have to consider that. However, its other base stats actually does help alleviate this weakness with an HP of 92, melee defense of 90, and a speed stat of 68. While its speed stat does get outsped by stuff like Valkyrie, Igazune, Offensive Tyrexes, Snogers, Wrestlins, Kanibos, it does outspeed a bunch of the walls in the metagame except for some exceptions like Nimble Obsidigons, some Stratosaurs, and maybe some Seer Knights, but other than that, you're mostly going to be outspeeding many walls. So, which is perfect for Borok because its attacking set is pretty great. 90 melee defense and 92 HP is pretty good for an offensive Lumion. It's comparable to some walls in the metagame, which of course gives Borok some way to switch in in the battle and do some damage. So if you really have to switch in on some melee attackers, then you can do that as well. However, its best stat to think is its melee attack set of 110. This may not seem the best, but when you compare it to its ability boast, you're going to be getting one plus one melee attack and then you're going to be hitting as hard as brawny Joltooth's very brawny Kanibos on that level kind of stuff. So with Borok, it's actually pretty great. So overall, what do you get from this? Well, this is what role that Borok plays. Thankfully, its role is actually pretty simple with a strong one-hitting wall breaker. Borok is mainly used for getting into the battle, dishing some damage, and then getting out. The best thing that you can pair Borok up with is some pivots like Luminami, Elephage, Ileguana, stuff like that. And also, Borok can have the ability to set up in some situations, which I'll be talking about later. Thanks to its high melee defense stat, it can deal some damage and set up, so that is one thing to consider. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about what Borok is weak and resisting. Borok's typing is pure earth, and in all honesty, it's probably not the best defensive typing, but it is serviceable. The main weaknesses you should watch out for is plant, ice, and water. Plant types are very plentiful, well not plentiful, but stuff like Tertiki, which can potentially run a life drain, and Totab, which a timber thrash, is pretty effective against Borok, so you have to watch out for Totab. Ice types like Wintrix and Tundralin will be your biggest threats in terms of ice types, which is pretty concerning, but other than that, there's not much ice types to worry about. And water types like Barblast, Luminami, and Cephalops is the pretty much the only water types you have to watch out for. So in terms of weaknesses, it's not much. However, you do have one resistance to Toxic. Toxic is plentiful in this metagame. I guess you can count Gobademic. Um, Gabademic, Swolder, Vanillin, Barblast, so you can try and switch in on those toxic types. 
and, then, and since you are an Earth type, you will be able to hit those super effectively aside from, you know, Swolder because Bug resists Earth and it's neutral. The last thing I forgot to put here is its Im immunity to electric, so you can try switching in on stuff like Elephage and Zulong. What I, while I wouldn't particularly recommend a, Zul recommend a Zulong, you can try switching in on an Elephage, considering that its highest base stat move other than, you know, Thunderstrike is a 40 base power move, which in all honesty is probably not that great. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about Borok sets, which is probably what you came here for. Borok's first set, and probably the only set, is a pure wall breaking set. The only ability you want to run for Borok is Boast. I guess you can try Resilience on defensive sets, but I particularly do not think it's that great. The next moves that you'll be running is Megacham, Earthquake, and Bulk Up. Bulk Up's pretty much necessary on Borok, considering that you have to try and, and compete with Bulk Up against stuff like Obsidigon and Harvesect. So that is one thing to take it in consider. And with bulk up, I guess if you get some couple of bulk ups up, you will be able to deal some damage against Tundralin, and Tundralin will probably get walled out by you. Mega Chomp is necessary because stuff like Luminami, Namare, and Falkyrie would all wall you if you do not have Mega Chomp. And Earthquake is essential because it is your stab move and your highest base power move. Raging Tackle and Quick Pounce are your last options. It just depends on what you want to use Borok for. If you want to use Borok as a revenge killer with quick pans, then you can try doing that. If you want to use a pure wall breaking set for Borok, then Raging Tackle is your best bet. The personality of choice will be very brawny, tender, clumsy. Tender is so we don't let um, Protagon to get a range attack boost. Clumsy is so we don't waste any other de lower defensing stats and very brownie is to hit as hard as possible and trying to get our boast ability to work. Our items of choice is going to be health amulet so you can try running health amulet with bulk up and try getting passively recovered from bulking up because you're going to be taking damage anyways and an earth shell slash essence is probably your best bet. While I wouldn't really consider you running an earth shell, you can try running an earth essence which is probably what I'd recommend more. And don't forget you can run other essences or shells because there are a bunch of stuff that is immune to earthquake in this metagame as of right now. And the TPs, 28 HP actually lets you get odd HP at level 50, so you take 5 hits from Icicle Chaps and then you die, which is obviously pretty great. 64 energy is to use 4 Earthquakes and 1 Mega Chomp, I'm pretty sure. And 200 melee attack is to hit as hard as possible, and 200 speed is to hit be as fast as possible, so you can potentially outspeed some slower Lumions. One thing I did forget to put here is that you can put the leftover HPs or leftover TPs into range defense or melee defense, so that's your set. Borok's pure wall breaking set is pretty fun and pretty strong, so I'll be telling you what it doesn't do well against and what it does well against in the counters and teammates section. Some counters and checks to Brock is Harvesect. Harvesect, in all honesty, is probably the best because it resists Raging Tackle, Earthquake, Quick Pants, and Mega Chomp. And it's obviously pretty great on the melee defense side and it provides a lot of utility for your team, which is obviously pretty great. If you do not want to run Harvesect, which is perfectly fine, you can choose between these three options of Tundralin, Obsidigon, and Stratosaur. If you want to run Stratosaur, you have to have Robust and another personality because Very Clever does not hold up very well against a Borok. And for Obsidigon, you want to run Robust at the very least. Very Robust is fine, Robust Nimble or Robust Brawny is probably your best bet against a Borok. And Tundralin, you generally want very robust so you can maximize the damage of Body Crash. Ice Hammer is pretty good against Barak because you can hit it super effectively and it can set a bulk up on it which is pretty great. So out of all of these answers, I would say that Obsidigon is probably the worst because you cannot set up a long Borok so Borok is going to be getting free setup on you. You just want Obsidigon as a general check to Borok. Stratosaur is your next best bet because Robust is pretty great and you do and you do resist everything except Mega Chomp, so that's pretty great. 
Arvisect is the best answer for Borok if you're worried about it, but it's perfectly fine if you do not want to run it. And Tundralin is the best defensive answer if you're looking for an easy Lumin to use. Some offensive checks to Borok is generally air types. Air types like these guys are pretty great because they are immune to earth right now. In the next update of Levitate, it'll probably change, so you want to consider running different Lumions. But these guys are perfectly good as well. Zephyr is probably the best answer because it hits hard and it, it has high melee defense. Not particularly high, and it is high enough to tank some hits from Borok. Zephyr is your best bet. Nemare and Wintrix, they're pretty okay. However, they're pretty frail on the melee defense side. And Stagoop is your last option, which in all honesty is probably not great because Jetstream is the only thing you can hit it pretty good. And overall, Stagoop doesn't have good bulk. So other than that, I would advise you to use these checks when Borok is chipped so you can one-shot them and not take any HP away from you. Some last checks to offensive Borox is basically your Soul Kanibo and Tata. While they particularly can't switch in on Borok a bunch of the time, these guys can lower Borok's melee, melee attack. So when it tries to come in and you predict it, Borok will be doing less damage. So these guys will be dueling a lot more and tanking less, which is overall pretty great because the main way of dealing with the Borok is not letting it get its boast ability up. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about what Borok's teammates can do against these guys and what you and what you should particularly run if you want to run a Borok. Some offensive teammates to Borok is Metatoad, Zulong, Kaniwo, and Zephyrin. Zephyrin is probably the best answer because while you don't particularly have the best defenses in the world, you do have good enough defenses to the point where Obsidian doesn't do much damage against you without setup. Arvisect is pretty safe to switch in on, but you don't do well against Tundralin if it's not chipped or Stratosaur unless you provoke it first, so that is a thing to consider. Kinebo does well against Stratosaur unless unless it doesn't switch in on a Stratosaur, un so you have to try and catch it with an ambush. It does well against Obsidragon and Harvisect unless you're running Ice Hammer for an Harvisect. And for the last Tundralin, you basically kill that thing, so that's no argument there. Metatoad is probably the least safest option, considering while you do hit most of the walls I mentioned pretty hard, you get hit pretty hard by those walls at the same time. So that is a thing to consider. And Zulong, while it is pretty frail, it does hit a bunch of the walls that I said earlier super effectively. Harvisek, Obsidragon, and Stratosaur hit gets hit super effectively. And while Tundralin doesn't get hit super effectively, it does have low range defense, so it gets hit pretty hard. So, those are the offensive teammates, and for its defensive teammates, which is pretty interesting, you can run Harvisect, Stratosaur, Barblast, or Setamars. Stratosaur is pretty great because you do wall all the air types, I'm pretty sure, in the in Borox checks section, so that is pretty great. Barblast is overall a pretty great Lumion on any team, so you can run that. It can also um, do well against stuff like Tundralin, Harvisect, and potentially a Stratosaur, so that is a thing to consider. And Set of Mars, it's pretty strong, and while it doesn't particularly hit Earthquake pretty well against the um, air types, it does have Thunder Chomp, so that is a thing to consider. And Harvisect, while it isn't the best option, you can run it. So yeah, that is a thing to consider. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching it. I really mean it. Um, and also thanks to the person that I that commented that I can do a video on Borok because I particularly had a fun time using doing this video. So that's pretty great. And yeah, make sure to join my Discord because I'm either planning to make a new one or you can join my original one. So yeah, you can join that Discord. And yeah, one thing to know before leaving is that, well, I got shouted out by a big Lumi Legacy YouTuber. So thanks to them, Joshua Star. I really mean it. I mean, my channel just got a bunch of subscribers from over one day. So that's pretty great. So yeah like the video if you're interested in stuff like this and subscribe if you're into the videos that i make 
I particularly do not do much videos on a daily basis but I do try to keep up with the schedule so yeah if you want to see more videos like this go to my channel I have some great videos on there and subscribe so you don't miss a video that I put out and yeah that's the last thing oh yeah and remember that Zulong is still a dumpster fire